So what we need is hardworking people that would like to join us on this adventure. We're eight people at the moment and we're trying to build the largest and the best Facebook marketing agency in, in the Nordics. And we need to go for eight people to 100 people. I guess the advantage of the small and medium sized are the, the opportunity to influence the, the place that you work, to, to be part of something. A lot of the firms that we've heard today talk about the growth possibilities and being part of, of that journey, being part of a small and committed team. That, I think, sounds like a, an, an amazing opportunity. We offer the students a really dynamic workplace and work environment. You're handed uh, a lot of responsibility and you can do with it kind of like whatever you want um, as long as it, it, it drives the team forward. I get the sense that you have you have access to more responsibility in um, smaller companies versus um, larger companies. Also I get, I get the sense that you would have even more influence on how to operate differently um, and not operate through more um, standard procedures in a way. I have re really high expectations that they can provide value with their knowledge from their behavior on social media and digital uh, devices and students from the University of Copenhagen and Copenha Copenhagen Business School are very good at talking, thinking strategically. When you start looking there are a lot of opportunities and, and I guess a takeaway from today is also that just give it a chance, you know, you might not live up to all the criteria that, that the companies have, but if you have something, if you have a drive, if you, have, if you can show the commitment and the ambition, uh, then there is a lot of opportunities with these small companies. This is actually my first time visiting CBS in a career arrangement like this. Um, but until now, I have had several good dialogues with students that uh, seems to be interested. I have a good feeling in my stomach.